much for staying with us on DD Dialogue, our Assembly Election Karnataka special. We are bringing to you this episode from the cultural capital of Karnataka, Mysuru. And uh, in this uh, special one hour conversation, we are going to dive deep into the fact that competitive populism practiced by all political parties, be it regional or national, only to grab or retain power, which can or may have an adverse impact on the economic health of the state. How healthy is that? Is, does this really all go well for the electorate in the raw, raw, long run? That's the big question we're going to look at. We're going to talk about freebies versus economic empowerment. If we have a high-powered panel here on DD Dialogue from Mysuru. Let me quickly, in fact, uh, introduce my panelists. On my left, uh, I begin with uh, the representative from the Bharatiya Janata Party, the ruling dispensation. We have Sri A.R. Malaraje Aras. He is the convener of the uh, district manifesto here. Thank you very much, sir, for joining us. I also take this opportunity to welcome uh, from the Congress, uh, from the JDS, Sri Ravi Chandra Gauda. Ravi Chandra Gauda is a spokesperson from the JDS, uh, a very formidable regional force in the state of Karnataka. And also from Aam Aadmi Party, which also claims to be one of the top most contenders in the political fray. Uh, remember, the state goes to poll on uh, 10th of this uh, uh, next month. Uh, let me quickly welcome Ms. Malavika Gupivani. She's the state joint secretary. Thank you very much, Malavika Ji, for joining us. And from the Congress Party, Mr. Lakshman joins us on the show. Uh, he's the state spokesperson. Thank you very much. And uh, very, very glad to have with us uh, on the show very senior and distinguished journalist, political expert from the state of Karnataka, uh, Shri K. Shivakumar. He's the senior associate editor, New Indian Express. Thank you very much sir, for joining us. I'm going to quickly start uh, with the Congress Party. Why with the Congress Party? Because I have a list of, uh, uh, you know, sir, the comparative analysis of the free bees offered by all political parties. And if I am not wrong here, Congress has really shown its large heartedness in these elections. You are practically paying them for everything from being unemployed, you're paying them for buses, especially free rides for the women in the buses, and uh, 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 power, electricity, all of that. But what really intrigues me as a journalist, unemployment insurance for two years or even if it is for one year. Please explain why, first of all, do you have to offer freebies to get votes? Are you not confident of your own party cadre, the popularity of it, or your own confidence to come back to the power? No, no, I don't agree with you. This, uh, the freebies, you know, it's the right, human rights, uh, fundamental rights. We have to give them. We have to bring them to the forefront with equal to everybody. He, for the last nine and a half years, when Modi has taken over as the Prime Minister of the country. Freebie is a fundamental right. I feel, okay, in Congress freebie, Party, is not definitely right. it's a fundamental right for every human being who is suffering to survive in the country. Okay, and second part is, for the last uh, nine and a half years, what is the position here in the country? Many people, you know, they are poorer or become poorer or poorer. They are dying. Rich have become richer, richer. Only selective people have been grown up. For the last uh, nine and a half years, this uh, same uh, BJP government has uh, waived off more than 14 lakh crore of this all rich people NPA. Achha. And they have made NPA. And what is the problem in giving uh, some of the uh, requirement of you, uh, uh, poor people? There is nothing wrong in that. I don't say it is, is only for election uh, gimmick, you know, we are offering them electricity, free electricity, free education. It's a fundamental right. Free education is not a fundamental right of human being. Because of free education, only now people like me have come when up to this level. When we talk about fundamental right, then we are going to the constitution. No, no, that's what... Know that. I, no, 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 fundamental I, right of constitution only, you please let us go into okay. that. So, uh, do you agree with him, BJP? Sorry, I won't agree. The fundamental rights, as as all everyone knows that food, clothes, shelter, now education, health, definitely they are the fundamental rights. I do agree. But uh, the competition in giving freebies, you know, it is... Uh, worsening the economy of the state and the center, whatever it is, totally a nation. The freebies, in my view, if it continues with such a competition, it costs the exchequer of 
the but state. But you are also offering freebies. Yeah, to some extent. To but some, let's to spell some, out what are the freebies in your manifesto. Let 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 you speak about. It. We we are giving assistance to the women and uh, agriculture, as you all know, that is ten thousand per annum. Those things. One thousand per month for the landless farmers. Yeah, landless farmers. That's all. But. Uh, when we declare it in manifesto in Congress, or what they have declared it manifesto, in my experience, and you all know that in Rajasthan, in Chhattisgarh, whatever they announced, they could not reach to that. They could not reach to that. In Rajasthan, there is 18.5 lakh unemployed registered, out of which they have given only for 1.5 lakh. Yeah. 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 So that is the guide. That is the. Uh, so you don't agree with your Congress opposition. No, that it's not a fundamental. Right? No, no, it is not a fundamental. Opposition is definitely not a fundamental. I think what he means to say that it's a human right. It's a human right for a. You look at it as a as a as, a, as an equitable justice. See, सबके पास कुछ कुछ होना चाहिए. No, no. What I wanted to tell you is, see, our friend was telling that whatever the promise we have made in Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, not fulfilled. I don't know what what what, what contest is telling. If he has got any proof to prove that you know we are not fulfilled. Let him uh, exhibit, not simply coming and telling some stories. Whatever the promises we have made in Rajasthan, Chhattisgarh, and uh, Madhya Pradesh, we have fulfilled within a year. That is the commitment. That is the commitment of Congress Party. No, no, it is not like BJP, which we simply only announce and we go back. Okay. During 2014, same Mr. Modi has made an announcement all over the country, saying that you know we are going to bring black money from the foreign country and distribute 15 lakhs each. What is the test? What 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 happened to that? And he said, yes, we are going to provide two crore jobs per year. What is that? They have to what happened? How many jobs did the Ramaya government provide? Uh, yes, for our let's knowledge. Let's not everything cannot no, be. No 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 no. Let's take let let's take. Okay, let 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 let. Which may which may let let's have a first round of introduction, sir. In the in the sense opening remarks, JDS. Are you also banking on the rolling out of freebies for your constituency, uh, especially? We are breaking the show from my school, which happens to be one of your strongholds. Madam, freebies. Some freebies are good. Some freebies are bad, because as as my colleague Lakshman told, it is a fundamental right. Which is a fundamental right? Electricity, water. These are the things are fundamental rights. This should be given by the government. It is very necessary to the people. What is your list of freebies? In my JDS, yes, yes. Uh, we, we are not giving any free education, free health, uh, uh, free health, free education, and uh, free shelter, and helping to farmers for loan waiver. You are making these promises on the national channel. Yeah, the, all uh, uh, these things we have given in our uh, manifest. So they are the manifestos of every five years. These things we have given. Manifestors to check what all has been done and what not. What we told last time, we fulfilled the farmers' loan. We have cleared. It knows every states and every the whole nation knows these things. So freebies is not bad. If you give it, if you give TV, fridge, like if like that. So are you opposing BJP in Congress on the freebies? Uh, so they are also giving. No, they are, are you opposing them? Are you opposing them on this on freebies? Yeah, definitely. I am opposing BJP. Not Congress. That's interesting. <laughs> Not <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. I think, sometimes. I think I think Karnataka deserves to know. <laughs> I think Karnataka deserves to know. Okay. So what is doing? What is happening? Sometimes we oppose. Some not all. Not all the times. Sometimes you are not. Opposing. Not all the times. Why are you not opposing? They want to know. See, they all so, want to know. Don't you want to know? <laughs> I did not hear you. Don't you want to know? <laughs> But. Uh, so they, they they are telling our Narendra Modi is, is telling uh, we, we are not encouraging to freebies, but he will deposit three thousand rupees every in every six month for every six months for farmers. What is my question to you is not on Narendra Modi, sir. My question to you is: Are you opposing BJP, Congress, and Aam Aadmi Party on the freebies populism election? Mainly, we are opposing BJP. Oh, you are not opposing Congress. And you are not opposed. Sometimes we will. Sometimes we will oppose. Politics is convenient. 
politics or because we are facing many problems so because you would need congress no if at all no. a miracle happens and they come to power or something like that you would need the we will decide later okay but you will not oppose congress but you are not opposing aam aadmi party also no wow your friend yes ma'am that makes you very happy smiling namaskar ellarigo um first thing i think we need all need to be clear on what are freebies there is no such thing as freebies when i say that it means that whatever government offers the services you agree with congress that they are fundamental right um no i mean try to education definitely yeah, that not other not things freebie, but yeah, yeah. That, not other things yeah so whatever government offers as services or facilities it is government expense it comes from the tax payers money so there is no such thing as freebies if you are talking about it as free if you are terming it as free then it is only about beyond the tax you are not asking them any more money to be paid so that's what we are now calling i think as freebies now this freebie thing has come into uh, a lot of debate recently mainly because more and more poor are being given services and facilities free of cost which even our party has given we have for so many years we have been given so many free facilities by the government and it has become a norm that we are so used to it we are not recognizing it as freebies yeah. for example we have parks playgrounds parking spaces okay all so parking spaces but what about unemployment insurance of 3000 rupees are you encouraging an unemployment here aren't you it doesn't encourage unemployment what is unemployment insurance in your manifest for us it is a means for them to whatever the amount that you are giving as unemployment allowance yeah that is not enough for them to survive the whole so life what is unemployment insurance what do you mean by that we are giving certain amount of money per month for remaining unemployed for not remaining until they find their job hmm. that's what it means so is that not, and if yeah. they are not having money to even commute or even to ap- apply to certain places jobs go for the interview prepare for the interview they need money okay i i am i got your point sir i want to understand this whole matrix of unemployment insurance bjp have they been able to give you jobs well bjp will say yes but then the opposition for the fact that they have unemployment insurance means that they are claiming that there are no jobs therefore if i am jobless i will be giving i will be given 3000 rupees to stay jobless for 2 years and is that going to get votes shiv kumar ji this matrix i don't know what they have chart out in their political parties but unemployment uh, what is this uh, yeah, some honorarium what they are paying to youths to remain unemployed not to remain unemployed right. youths for only reason if someone is a graduate from mysore and he is staying somewhere on 150 kilometers or 100 kilometers away from mysore he will be assisted to apply for some jobs as an employee an employee you can't just go to browse or uh, get into you, you will not have any information at least some assistance will be given so that you will not turn into an anti social element this is my understanding see if at all if if, the, if there is no jobs in the village what will anyone do first thing we speak about migration we are against to it second thing we speak about uh, the anti social activities they carry out third they will get into the rotten bags they will be, be a problem in future but i don't agree with all this what all these three political parties or four that political parties have done yeah. it is the time that every youth should be given a job and ours what has happened in recent times particularly in last 15 20 years see when kamraj started mid day meal free mid day meal scheme in 1957 there was a cause for it in tamil nadu it was a drought hit area and he wanted to come out with a mid day meal scheme to encourage children particularly girls to go to school and that was the reason after that mgr the anna dorai jailalitha they they went to an extent of giving gold coins also and the culture that karnataka has uh, no 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 in karnataka they, no 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 so there is this whole debate now they keep no 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 but, no but you yeah, i'll clarify in karnataka this did not happen for only reason karnataka has too many veera shaiva mats which were feeding food to the poor that is why there were no why free bees tamil nadu model being implemented here now no no tamil nadu model it they have not copied here see what has happened in the recent years free bees has become a trend 
it is not the Tamil Nadu version. See, I was looking into the manifesto of Gujarat, last previous election, 2019. BJP has half offered a moped to a woman girl, to a girl who goes to college, PU college. Is it not a freebie? See, everyone, even Mamta is offering in terms of cash. Uh, See, across the country. Started, uh, distributing 500 notes and he started throwing money on the roads while campaigning. My question to you is, before I go back to the panelists, do you see this as a healthy trend of offering freebies but not empowering them through jobs? Not empowering them through their right to education, right to shelter, right to food? See, whenever we debate on this issue, we should also refer to the fundamental rights and directive principles of the state. And both, we should not forget that ours is a welfare state. And there should be a demarcation between what is freebies and what is welfare. Yes. Unfortunately, all political parties are mixing up with both welfare and freebies. We should think and we should debate on these issues very seriously for only reason. This is not a healthy trend across the country. For only reason, this issue has come up in last 4-5 years. For only reason, the regional parties are doing very well in the country. And this has worried both Congress and also BJP. There is a case by Upadhyaya before the Supreme Court. And the case is, will be, it will be heard by Chandrachud very, very soon. It has, come, it has been listed. And before that, if this has to be done, there should be a clear demarcation. And one, any state, let it be Karnataka or Tamil Nadu. And I, I have a list of things and 11, 11 states, their physical deficit is so much, they could yes. not survive. Uh, For only question. reason, they should have a healthy, before high going to... And it's implica high inflation and also the impact of freebies on the economic health of the state. Here we are talking about Karnataka. I'm going to go across to the Congress uh, representative, Ayar Lakshmanji. When Siddharth Maya was in power during that, you know, it's a very neutral sort of question because we are talking about freebies. Uh, why is first of all there a need for you to provide freebies if you, the, the argument that you are giving me, during Siddharth Maya's regime, were you not able to create enough jobs? Were, did you offer freebies then? We have created 20 number of jobs during our Congress regime only. Okay. See, during okay. for the last right, right from 2018 till today, we have three lakh jobs unfilled in Karnataka alone. In central government, we have 80 lakhs jobs unfilled. 80 lakhs jobs unfilled is not the statistic which I am giving. It's the statistic provided by BJP only, oh. right? Oh. And you, you are talking about freebies. We oh. sit here in the Star Hotel with AC, air condition. We are debating. Correct. As Mr. Shukumar rightly said, you know, please go to interior part of Karnataka, madam. Go to the villages and see the person who has graduated, you know, not even having a rupee after even graduation. He, when, when he doesn't get the job, what he will do? He will automatically turn into some other well, activity. Right one second, one second, I will finish. Yes. I, will, I will finish. Sure, sure. Just give me some time. Right. Mm -hmm. So, when he has finished his graduation, he has to get some job either in the private sector or in the public sector or anywhere else. There also we have caste discrimination. If you belong to upper community, you will get job somewhere in the private sector. Whereas in case of a scheduled caste, scheduled tribe, office, you know, they will never get job at all. Because their companies are being run by different people. In such cases, you know, 3,000 rupees is helping them to at least fill the application okay. and submit. That is the reason we have given. So I don't consider it as a freebie. Okay. That's that's right. Point taken. Yeah. I don't agree with you, but that's fine. I have to just... Okay, that's okay. Fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, okay, sorry. As far, as far as his words, 3 lakhs uh, vacancies in state and 18 lakhs in uh, nation. Totally how many lakhs? 21 lakhs vacancies. Okay. What is the, what is the population of the... What is the population of the country? If all those posts are filled, what about others? The people should not depend only on the government jobs. We must make them self-sustain. Uh, listen to me, listen to me, madam. Listen, listen to me. Completing the graduation is only to educate ourselves and to see the opportunities which are all available within, within ourselves. See, we don't have workers to work in the field. 
because all are looking towards the luxurious one this is the mindset of the general public about a few year few months back i saw that the agriculture youths are not getting a uh, uh, right like let me finish listen to me avarge hudgi sikta illa that's what agriculture made do degree degree boy hudgi sikta illa andre enu all the all the parents all the parents of a girl looking towards a boy who is an employed employment is not only joining to a job he can do on his own that's why our modi ji is encouraging a skill development okay. where he can earn his own livelihood where he can empower himself See, in his own place madam if I, if i come from a rural place to mysore what is the rent to be born how much of electric electric charge should i have to born born if i am in my native place only if i have my own house I have land so we must encourage the people of their own earning self employment yeah. so in the in that direction the central government is doing a lot and state government is also doing a lot you, my my but chota sa question sir uh, he uh, the congress is alleging or claiming that there are x uh, a number of jobs government jobs lying vacant that's yes. what you say is it a factual statement uh to some extent to some extent i agree i i don't disagree okay to some extent I yes we, we 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 cannot we cannot yeah. deny listen we cannot deny but only the thing is why that is not fulfilled see when kpsc is announced someone will go to the court of law and he brings the stay so all these things are happening but with all that my my question is if all the posts are filled let us assume all the posts are filled okay is it solved the unemployment problem okay let's move is on is it solved the unemployment the problem national broadcaster you have a bjp representative agreeing for a change to their opposition party is that yes there are x number of jobs government jobs that lie vacant and i think it is high time for all these parties on the dais they are answerable to the youngsters here yes congress yeah there are you all are asked to step no no please go ahead. yeah yeah sir i am dare enough to accept certain things are they dare enough to the unemployment is created from the bjp only it is pending since it is pending since congress it is pending since other parties what they did what they did all those days it it is it is a cumulative one it is a cumulative one it is not erupted by only in bjp government not see the mindset of bjp is very clear they want poor are to be poor they don't like them to be on the mainstream richer to be richer because that is the mindset you know how that is how the spokesperson of bjp has now said people are not there in the village to work therefore the village people should remain in the village only they should not come to the city at all that is one part second part he was telling about psc public service commission commission during their period what all the corruptions which have taken psi psi appointment you know how they have things have gone in karnataka it has become very bad name all over the world that is how they are doing so they are defending i am not telling this 80 lakhs job you know which was create right it is there right from 1947 80 lakhs job unfilled vacant is there for the last 8 and half years this is the statistical report which was given to the parliament by Ms. mrs nirmala sitaraman okay their own minister not by me and similarly mr baswaj bomba in the last budget you know he has announced that there are 3 lakh jobs are unfilled in the state of point government taken. of karnataka point taken yes so are you trying to say that during sidaramaiah's regime there was zero unemployment and suddenly no, no, i don't say karnataka went no, 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 into no, unemployment mode just because no, no, there no, is no, i don't say so i don't say and same time we will not tell unemployed people to go and sell pakoda okay we don't sell so <laughs> we don't sell no sorry sorry listen to me Le- listen to me listen to me listen to me it is not it is not it is not the question of it is not the question of go and it is not the question of go and sell pakoda so we should have we we should have dignity of labor unfortunately we, we unfortunately we are not giving respect to the labor dignity of labor in america i say 
if he is a chef the people say oh you are chef there is there is a value even for a chef so we cannot say hey, he is doing pakoda what he is no, earning on his own he is he is not putting he is not putting his hand to some other some other pocket development and i think that he is not putting his hand to other pocket the of labor is uh, right it's their right jds you have been listening to both of them very carefully but you 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 may you you already made your uh, position very clear that sometimes they are going to disagree with the congress but they will always disagree with the bjp sir madam when kumar somi was chief minister the job front sir job job sorry kumar sir when he was when he was a, when he was a chief minister what happened there was no employment uh, yes zero unemployment no 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 okay no no, no i am not saying like that he has started so many schools okay. and he appointed 28000 teachers as i know he has given more options to unemployment he is giving uh, at earlier he was started to give uh, minimum uh, fees to the advocates earlier when he was started profession suddenly they can't earn the money that's why the first time they introduced 2000 rupees to the advocates to give the increase to the advocates so uh, he is uh, he is giving uh, increase to all uneducated persons to, and uh, educated person to help them so he is doing uh, very good when he was a chief minister but then why were you ousted out of power why could you not retain power if you were doing so well in terms of providing um, uh, employment aapko why were you out of power then if you were so good on the empowerment because of operation kambla they are removed <laughs> it was very famous <laughs> we were doing very well because of operation kambla <laughs> we are removed see if if the people comes to power if the people comes to bjp listen to me if the people comes to bjp then only it is an unhealthy alliance and it is an operation kamala you go through the history of karnataka what were the operations made by other governments how from how many years bjp is in is in the power you please introspect yourself okay it is not only in bjp ओके पॉइंट है पार्टी नो पार्टी आम आदमी आप 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 Uh, you are right in saying that whenever a freebie is given one thing we need to see is can it be sustained a freebie or anything that's given free if it doesn't result into any production or productivity in either a medium term or a long term then it's bad you have to have fiscal prudence of how it's going to pan out and uh, just having unemployment alone without any plan of employment generation then that's bad so aam aadmi party has if you have heard about business blasters we have uh, entrepreneurship curriculum in the schools that will enable the kids to you know uh, get into business they are encouraged uh, with their ideas they are encouraged to get investments uh, you can watch it on the youtube there is business blasters are program are you in the competition you uh, if you look at the number of seats you are contesting i think 212 or 211 seats out of 224 yes we are definitely in the race definitely in the game yes so uh you i mean on the face of it you look like that you are in the competition but then at the end of the day you don't have that political legacy in the state of karnataka why do you think they should vote you okay who are the prominent faces what are you going to offer to them yeah yeah uh no prominent faces because we are all common people okay so each one of us we have our own photos all the ads and posters that you see we don't have a big leader big leader is just a small one because a party is recognized by arvind kejriwal second okay, thing so your leader is just one leader and that is the name that you have taken no the recognized one is what i'm saying okay the recognized one yeah. so if you get a vote is it for the recognized leader it is for the work that we have been doing okay clear at least you are clear on that that this yes, vote is definitely. not for delhi for our aadmi party it's going to be the work done here okay yeah. at least there is an honesty vote. all right two factors of why Uh, i we think we are in the game or why people would choose us is one the work we have done in delhi we have been voted again 
to power and because of that we have been also given a chance in punjab so hopefully in karnataka we'll get a chance second thanks to all other parties their bad performance i would say has helped us people looking for a change and they are desperately looking for somebody who will walk the talk and aam aadmi party has proved time and again the whatever we have promised we have delivered you are contesting your political uh, your aspirations that you are talking about ma'am are in this state of karnataka you know one of the very critical south indian state and you are saying that in fact if i can say you are riding high on the confidence of the delhi and punjab model but things are different here there is caste calculus are you also playing on that do you realize how important the caste alignments are here we, we do realize how important it is but our primary criteria is never caste we give competency the utmost importance and uh, the intention to do good is what we look for in the person one we... last question before i go to the rest of them uh, you fighting against all of them or you are friendly with some of them like jds is little we are fighting for the people not no, against for anybody. the people and against all three two on your right one uh, i mean if you say technically yes opponents definitely <laughs> <laughs> but we are for the people we are working we are into politics for the people because we are not tomorrow getting good governance we are into tomorrow if you need somebody where will you go the pre poll we have for been number. very clear that we are not going to go with anybody but whatever the results based on that whatever the party leaders will you know think through and talk i mean decide that's all right all right so i think i have enough uh, grilled aam aadmi party in the second round shiv kumar ji you are a political expert here what do you make of it first of all the mud slinging between the congress and the bjp on this whole unemployment but they have agreed on this that yes they faltered there at least they had uh, the courage of agreeing yeah. when you say they you mean jds bjp and, and congress when it comes to creation of uh, employment particularly in the government sector jds in a short span of uh, time that is jds and congress coalition government they did some good things as he listed out at the same time when it comes to social sector sidrama did very well when empowerment of uh, the poor or the unemployed use or uh, farmers like this but bjp which was which was expected to do very well on this front they bit slipped out i believe what and it is a the development part what about the projects that were timely completed for example metro project during sidaramaiah's time which you know the whole delay and languishing you know in the files and the projects that they completed i'm not taking any sides i'm talking purely on numbers that also generated lot of employment i believe see pr- projects completion of projects uh, it may contribute to to certain extent but when B, when it comes to bjp they implement the projects in mission mode no doubt they fix the goal they, they inaugurate and they see that the project is completed in their term and they have done uh, wonders no doubt from jal mission to uh, bangalore mysore uh, highway which was started by congress and approved by uh, congress and it was taken over by bjp and at least they have uh, uh, exhibited their political will to uh, completed it but i am not giving full credit to uh, bjp because it was cleared by then upa government and when it comes to metro and they have execu- executed at the same time they have con- come under scanner for only reason the prime minister inaugurated much before it was completed it has been uh, a, a issue here for last couple of days it was there and it has been shifted when it comes to caste they are in all in race except aam aadmi party and karnataka has taken over bihar and uttar pradesh that is the caste politics which has been deep rooted here in karnataka which is very unfortunate where it is the land of lord basweshwara who preached to have a casteless society now even mats the swamijis of mats they were on the streets demanding reservation it is very unfortunate is the ashamed people who preached for casteless society they, they were on the streets what do you think this unfortunate trend see it is only politics it is only power see reservation the concept of reservation the constructive harmony system 
constructive harmony system which theory which states in the constitution and also too many of the judgments are delivered on this aspect and the reservation was for the voiceless see when we got independence in 1947 till 1965 east asia all countries were on the same platform we were all together we were on uh, level playing ground after 1965 all other countries empowered they did very well you take japan you take china you take any any other country they did very well for only reason though nehru ruled this country for 17 years our priorities were different for only reason because of the caste system the untouchability the poverty rural background all these things they wanted to focus on agriculture industrialization and uh, in 19 fast forward to 2023 no yeah, 96 in 1962 or 70 this plague had come then series of drought all these things contributed to us but what happened is those countries what i am referring to they did not have this caste system or there, there was no much gap between the distribution of resources but in india it was there these are all the reasons which has contributed but the nation has progressed no doubt they have done wonders in okay. too many areas so you claim to be corruption free and pro empowerment and pro congress and anti bjp bjp is very famous for corruption they are doing all construction as you, you are telling but there is a 40% is there so we are i think this whole 40% commission we told sir are, excuse me 40% 40% you put the case where is the fir filed is it, is it proved no, no, is it proved of madal all the all the allegations made all the allegations all the allegations, all the allegations made in congress government okay. were proved okay. Okay. were proved okay. Okay. one person mr contact president is is written a letter to the chief prime minister what steps you have taken okay. mr kempana has written a letter to prime minister what is happening in karnataka is is clearly told every for every contract they are charging 40% commission even though they have not taken any steps but i uh, this is open any, secret listen to I me anybody any any any, any uh, see like like every like day, listen to me it is it is it is not only the opposition in the assembly or in parliament even the opposition they they hand in glove with other peoples to allegate you know the relationship of kempana with other political parties of course if it is true why you did not go to the court of law why you did not complain why you did not made an fir why against the government see what, whatever the allegations made the government of karnataka has brought out even in uh, si appointment also the government has taken action legal action they have taken they did not tie their hand and say, keeping mum they are taking action against the all corrupt people whether whether they belong to their our own party or not if if they found they are guilty they will be punished on this spot okay. how many of you have punished okay. how many of okay. you have punished I, I the, the leaders of the leaders yeah. of the country of congress they are running out of bail they are running out of bail even today they are running out of bail seven yes. people are on bail from bjp 47 mlas from bjp sitting mlas are there on the bail you want to come sir they are there on the bail and he is talking about bail about congress party okay so it's very unfortunate this, this debate for tv consumption may go on and on please wait till 30 and it the we will have a clear picture jds bjp has completely written you off uh, the reaction that we are picking up on our show itself bjp is uh, you know uh, dwindling gauda factor dwindling gauda factor now in these elections is it like gauda devi gauda factor has it diminished completely devi gauda factor for the jds you look at the bjp there are big names you look at the congress there are big names what about jds see elections are also fought on names and personalities unfortunately impact of devi gauda impact on what on the election outcome and how confident is jds bjp is saying that there is no devi gauda factor for the jds Oh, definitely we have, definitely we have good fame, Devagoda. Unless Devagoda, there is no Karnataka. Because of if there is JDS is staying in Karnataka because of Devagoda. 
we hope definitely we will take 126 this time hmm. so you are putting a number of 126 yeah okay. okay we will take and, and because most of the uh, talking time has been taken by the bjp and congress i want to give you the platform from the national platform please explain to us if you are given chance if you are given opportunity what are you going to do for the youngsters of karnataka especially on the employment front because you at the beginning said that you do not believe in freebie but in development what is your promise to them free education hmm. we will give free education free health a free shelter these are the things we are providing hmm. to who uh, unemployed not for all hmm. who are unemployed who does not get jobs to that fellows we are giving uh, facilities this will this okay yes so you have seen the mud slinging and uh, attacks and counter attacks i am going to come back to the aam aadmi party aam aadmi party uh, how confident are you i am not getting into the losing and the winning game but at least in terms of making a dent and i'm going to repeat the same question what is your whole promise, promise to the youngsters of karnataka um as this is our uh, first time i would say although we had contested last time on 28 seats this is the first time like full pledge we are contesting so it's hard to say that how could be our uh, performance uh but we do have good hopes because of the ground uh, feedback that we are getting from the ground uh we have released our manifesto we have given so many guarantees in that manifesto we have definitely uh, emphasized on you know uh, the youth and the women and we will definitely work on the uh, generation of employment okay. and self employment okay and uh, it's always you know the credit war is always there the blame game is always there but whatever situation the government is in mm. you have to pick up from there and start working start acting that's what we have done in punjab we have started filling up the government vacancies right from do you think you ha- there is a space for aam aadmi party in karnataka there is yes backwards? definitely there is definitely are you being too ambitious about it or are you being realistic about it i am being realistic and optimistic very nice realistic and optimistic that shiv kumar ji you've heard all of them so finally what what is it that finally gets to decide in these elections in these uh, assembly elections in karnataka considering we are looking at 2024 and the kind of campaigning i mean it is being fought on caste it is it is being fought on personalities it is being deliberately trying to rope in the national narrative in the regional discourse where the regional issues are completely lost in translation unfortunately see this elections is most important both for congress and uh, bjp one is if congress if congress doesn't come back it will be very difficult for them to further proceed where they have to face another four elections they wanted to fight in other states and second thing if bjp loses in karnataka they will be out from south and the national narrative mr modi wanted to set a national narrative winning karnataka and see that he will fight the elections with this tempo in 2024 when it comes to jds we know how uh, devagoda and his son they have struggled a lot for last 19 900 days and they have gone down the state they have assured about this pancharatnas benefits all these things and their survival also depends on this election if they don't do well they will also politically vanish from karnataka's political scene see if very unfortunately is it is this for jds the fight for relevance now has yeah, it definitely that, definitely has it unfortunately come to the fight for relevance for a party de- like de- jds which used to be a powerful force see what has happened is last time the elections were not so tight in last 2018 elections bjp and jds they had some understanding and they used to come together and fight the elections this time there is a triangle contest in many of the seats in karnataka bjp has also gained the ground and there is a uh, triangle contest going on and the and the uh, intra party contest that is yeah intra party contest and second thing why they have taken the national issues here is there is a strong anti incumbency and there is no local leadership who can win the votes that is the vacuum in bjp which has made them the tallest leaders in both the camps 
has is 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 there a break is there a vacuum break? no 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 see, see when it comes to congress there was a bharat jodo yatra and i don't think rahul will make much impact on the ground but when it comes to as a party as a whole congress has played up from pcm to other issues and they are, they are exploiting the uh, what is uh, anti incumbency on the ground but when it comes to big uh, freebies and uh, the economy of the state and this cannot be fought legally the it should be a political consensus both center and state should come together they should sit and they, they should know their strength their what is the physical deficit they have what is the revenue uh, they have uh, in their armory and th they should come together and What's see that this the is issue sure that all this freebies business that is being so uh, magnanimously churned out by congress and the bjp in particular the kind of stress it puts on the economic health of the state no already no 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 already the karnataka uh, this thing what is that uh, economy is in doldrums no doubt only thing a, a government should come back they should tighten the purse of the government and also they should fight corruption at the grassroots level and also in the higher ups see that they give a clean government make use of all those resources that filtrage should be stopped and they should be diverted to fund these social sector programs if they don't do it definitely it so will be a burden is a misnomer in the election uh, uh, calculus you know you see the 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 pre poll announcements everywhere it is all one, only to get the votes there may be some social agenda behind that no doubt i am not uh, ruling out completely but when they have announced all these projects in last 2 3 months they are only eyeing for the uh, votes and if you take modi also he has announced 26 programs after he taking over as prime minister he is depositing 10000 rupees into the account both state and central government is it not a freebie All this has to be debated. These programs, they are development projects. No, 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 no. Depositing ten thousand rupees. No, no, no. But, but I'll clarify you. Ten depositing ten thousand rupees to an account. You can't say that it is a development program. Okay. So I'm going to wrap it up. I think we have a time up. I'm going to just take ten seconds each. Ten seconds each for the final comments. Congress, ten seconds. Finally, you wrap it. Congress, ten seconds. No, when Mr. Sidramaiah was the Chief Minister. a uh, number of uh, uh, programs you know which we have promised for the public in uh, 2013 to 18 we have full 165 programs you know we have given the in our manifesto we, we fulfilled 161 out of 165 whereas in case of bjp you know they promised 600 they fulfilled only 60 not even 10% of that okay. now whatever the guarantee which we have announced like uh, uh, 2000 rupees now that that we are 100% we are going to fulfill that we are going to announce in the first uh, meeting of the cabinet itself that is what our rahul gandhi has made it very clear that promise by the congress yes. on the national very government. very very clear okay. we, we will see that it is Because going to be implemented you will be completely attack on the guarantee shops that you will offer 100% okay. we are going to implement it in the All first right. cabinet meeting itself let's first cabinet meeting, meeting that will be itself it is going to be announced promise that's the promise yes. coming from congress please wait till 30 yes ma'am yeah so uh, whatever guarantees or the manifest points that we have released is not just out of thin air or some uh, one person's idea we have gone to the ground talked to the people figured out what they need and based on that we have made this manifest points and up as you have seen uh, we have walked the talk and delivered on all promises so definitely if we are given a chance we'll implement all those that are promised what we are assured in manifest definitely we will do. do it through pancharatna karyakram okay. we will do it we are already expand everything in pancharatna karyakram okay. we are expand it in right. as you as you all aware the covid ruined the state and the nation and the world with all those difficulties we are all sitting here we are all happy because of the modi who put forward to save the citizens of the country i am proud to say that he we gave what is that vaccine to all the people and because of that compared to the whole world we are surviving with all the difficulties the bjp has done well and we put forward our uh, manifesto will be fulfilled 
with a guarantee and 100 percent will fulfill whatever whatever the anti incumbency finally you know final but but i have 10 seconds why 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 sir overall batai overall batai no no please government whatever say you say indira gandhi you say rahul gandhi when it when it when you say rahul gandhi it is not a nonsense when we say it is a modi it is a nonsense how come who is nonsense who is nonsense you will decide when when you say rahul gandhi it is not a nonsense when you say modi you say it is a nonsense if you lack people of dead in the country who will take us out like this call if people know if the bjp would have not been in power what was the position what would have been the position people know that people will answer but very very unfortunate so with that we wrap it up here the bottom line as far as at least this conversation is concerned the congress and the bjp have agreed on one point that yes both have failed when they were uh, as a ruling dispensation when it comes to offering 100% employment to the electorate of Karnataka having said that bjp sounds supremely confident of retaining power and congress sounding more confident of coming back to power and outclassing bjp on the employment front but yes the objective voice that has come out here from one of our political experts is that cbs is not going to fetch any of them any votes it's going to be this electorate they are very unforgiving 13th may will decide all your fate on that note thank you very much all of you for joining us on the show from the bjp i thank shri ar malle raje aras for joining us convener uh, uh, district uh, manifesto from the congress i thank shri lakshman state spokesperson you've been very fiery in your intervention from the aam aadmi party i also thank ms malavika gupivani state joint secretary sounding very confident of spoiling the party of all three of them and <laughs> and from the jds let me thank shri ravi chandra gowda spoke to the news says they oppose bjp but they are okay with the congress on and off chalta rahega thank you very much and thank you very much for the uh, for for staying us on to darshan